Hi everyone, welcome back to Waygate Technologies. Dan here for the Krautkramer USM100 instrument. Um, today I'd like to show you a little bit about how once you have your instrument registered with InspectionWorks, our cloud service, how you can move information back and forth between the instrument and the cloud. So today I'm going to walk through a, a little scenario. We're going to imagine that I'm a level three uh, test engineer at company headquarters. And I've had an inspector in the field who has contacted me and tells me he has a very complex uh, thickness gauging application to do. He has an FH2E probe and he'd like to inspect four steps of his calibration block. So really a pretty simple application, but uh, let's say he doesn't know how to necessarily do that just out of the blue. On the left side of the screen, you'll see the instrument screen, what's going on in the instrument itself. On the right side of the screen is uh, our inspection works cloud service running in Google Chrome. I'm not going to cover uh, the whole process of uh, getting inspection works license and account set up and all that. We'll cover that in another video. And we've already covered the process of registering the instrument to that account uh, once that's all set up. So we'll skip that for now and just concentrate on our uh, scenario. So let's say as, uh, as the test engineer, I've uh, used our create software to build an app. I have the app ready to go. And what I want to do is put the app on my company's private store within InspectionWorks. So within inspection works, we have the public store and the private store. The public store is where we at Waygate publish applications, software, documentation, and things that are released by our engineering program. These are things that are intended for all users of our products. So any user can access things on our public store without even having to have their own inspection works account. They can come to the inspection works homepage, see things on the public store just fine. Now, when you receive your inspection works account and you have created a tenant to go with the account, uh, the tenant creates a private space for you and others within your company alone. Only people with access to your account login and tenant can access. And one of those aspects is the private store. So when you're logged in, you'll have access to your private store. And this is where I'm going to post an application for my inspector in the field. And again, uh, for this simulation on the left is my instrument screen on the right is inspection works. My instrument's sitting right here at my left hand. So it's very close, but in a real world situation, that instrument could be a thousand miles away in, in say an aircraft hangar. Uh, somewhere, as long as it has visibility to a wireless or a wired network that allows the instrument to connect to the internet, I have a connection between the instrument and inspection works. So wherever I'm sitting in the world with my PC, I can access my inspection works account and wherever the inspector is in the world with the instrument, as long as he has an internet connection, he can also connect to inspection works. So I have my app ready to go. Let's get it set up in the private store. So I'm going to say add new. And the first thing that I need to do is create a folder in the private store where this application is going to live. So I'm going to enter some metadata about the, the app here. I called the app uh, thickness or thick. FH2E, um, and because I've been through this a couple of times, some of these things will be, it'll remember previously entered strings here. So I'll be able to, it'll just show me a drop down list, autocomplete, help me with this. So I'm doing this for USM 100. So if we use our parent company name here, Baker Hughes, the intended asset is going to be my steel cow block. I'm doing this in English. And let's see, this is a simple 
have to inspect a four-step block. And at this point, I need to save this and create the folder. Um, you'll notice I'm, I'm blocked from uploading a thumbnail just yet. But as soon as I save that information, it says I'm successfully saved. I can now come back down here and point to the image that I want for that. And I just happen to have a picture uh, saved here from uh, an FH2E probe. So we're going to use that. It's captured that, thumbnails uploaded successfully, and now I can publish this. And what I've done is created the folder, and it's now ready for me to check in a file to go with the, the app. So now I can back here to add new. I'm going to do a full release. I do not want to check some with this. We'll say this is version 1.0 of this application, compatible with version 1.1 software, release date today. And again, just like when I created the folder, I have to save this metadata first. See, it's not letting me upload the app yet, so I hit save, close message. Now I can upload the file and I can navigate to, and there's my IWP file, the, the app file itself that I created using our create program. It has uploaded the file and now I can publish that. And now I have my app uh, showing here. So everything is checked in at this point. So now if I go back to the store page, Go to my private store. There's the folder and the app I just created. And if I click here, I come back into this page and I see my details. I can upload new versions. I can add additional documents and files in here if I like. Uh, but this is where I would publish an app that I want my inspectors in the field to be able to find. So now if we go back over to the instrument side, and we'll go to our home screen. And now uh, finding this app for my inspector in the field is as simple as using the regular add an app function. So where in the past you may have been accustomed to adding apps only from a USB stick. Now, uh, when you come to the add an app page, you have this box in the upper left corner and you can select from the USB stick from the InspectionWorks public store, in which case you see all of the apps that uh, we have provided for you. Or if you go to the InspectionWorks private store, there's the folder for the app that I just uploaded. So if I click on Thick FH2E, that folder, at first we just see the folder, and then once we uh, drill into the folder, we see the file itself. So I select that, I say import, and there it is, just that simple. Um, my USB stick wasn't involved anywhere in the process. I was able to create the app on my uh, PC using create, get it checked into my private store in InspectionWorks, and my inspector in the field, possibly a thousand miles away, was able to go to the private store, find the app, install it. Um, now let's say the, the uh, inspector needs to get in here and collect some data. So let's go ahead and we'll go to our two point calibration. Notice this app is all set up with automatic gain control, uh, negative half wave rectification, all the classic things that you would do for an FH2A thickness app. All right. So we did our two point calibration. Uh, let's go back here to our previous panel and we'll take a quick look. We'll set our gate up to take a wide variety of readings. So there's a quarter of an inch, there's an inch, okay. Um, 
let's just take a screenshot. Whoops. Maybe we'll take another screenshot. Let's go to our data recorder panel. And we'll do a full inspection of this block. We'll start out in our quarter inch step. And record that point, half inch. Three quarter inch step. And our one inch step. Okay. So now that we've done a thorough inspection of that block, Let's say, let's get in here. We'll save our data. Data saved is thick FH2E underscore one. Um, we've done our, we've gotten some screenshots. Let's uh, throw a quick report in there. All right. So now my inspector says, okay, I've successfully inspected the block and I need to let the test engineer back at headquarters know how, know how I made out. I want to pass my data back to, uh, back to Dan at headquarters. So what I can do is I'm just going to close my app for the moment. I'm all done with my inspection. I come into the files manager. I look at my thickness FH2E folder. And here I have lots of inspection data. So I have uh, the, the data set file that I saved. I have the report. I have my two screenshots. And I'd like to get all that information back to, uh, to Dan back at headquarters. So I click on export. I say I want to send it to inspection works. Notice the upload. Uh, indicator is running here. It's actively uploading all that information back to Inspection Works. It says, hey, I'm successful. I'm all done. So now uh, my inspector's job is done in the field. He can go back to the home screen. Over here in Inspection Works, uh, maybe he sends me an email or he gives me a call and says, hey, Dan, I uploaded that data that you asked for. And let's refresh our page here. I come into Insight and I see there's a new folder here. It was just saved today called Thick FH2E, the name of the application that we used on the instrument, um, dash USM 1200280041. So the serial number of the instrument and today's date. So the folder is named automatically when the when the inspector in the field uploaded all those files, it created a folder within Insight um, with the name of the app, the name of the instrument, and today's date. Now, if I click on that folder and I come in here, I see I have information in several categories. Um, I have the data set file uh, that I uploaded. Media, I had two screen captures and uh, inspection works will let me just hover over those and preview them. Um, I can also download those. Uh, there was a document. Uh, this was the report file that was generated. Um, now, unfortunately, inspection works doesn't give you a PDF uh, preview just yet, but you can choose to download. And it downloads the PDF. And I can come in and here's the report that was generated right on the instrument. So I have the uh, screen capture that shows the, the uh, data recorder information, um, all my settings, all, all the stuff that were, that's part of that report file. So there's all four files. Uh, everything that I selected on the instrument was uploaded together in a group and it was all put in an inspection folder within Insight. So with that, we've seen the entire, uh, the entire workflow. Um, was able to create an app using Create, upload it to my private store. The inspector far, far away was able to download that app from the private store, run the app, do the inspection, gather the data, 
then using the files manager on the instrument, pass that data back to Inspection Works where it appeared together in a group that was automatically named within Insight. And Insight organized those four files into groupings that it understands based on the, the file extension. So my dataset file is in data, my screen captures are in media, my report is in documents, and if I had uploaded settings files with it, um, those settings files would have appeared here as well. Um, any of these can then be downloaded back to the PC. For instance, if I go to the data file, I can download that data file. Then I can take that data file and open that using uh, other software related to the USM 100. I could uh, fire up USM 100 PC and view that data file here on my PC. So that's it. That gives you a, an end-to-end -end view. And stay tuned for future videos uh, on this series on the USM 100. And there's much more to come. Thank you.